Good evening, everybody. This is Lawrence again, Power Washing Pros out of Newport News, Hampton, Virginia. Just finished doing some gutter cleaning on a commercial building here. I just gave them a coat for the exterior on the soffits and the gutters, and they, as far as exterior cleaning, they've accepted the bid. And also, I'm also gonna do the sidewalk down here. But well, we had one, this one particular downspout was clogged. I mean, completely clogged. It was actually, a, this is where the gutter is right here. And then it, it's kind of the gutter, the, the downspout runs under the soffit at a 90 degree angle. A 90 here and a 90 there and it goes straight down all the way to the bottom. This spout was so clogged with pine straw and debris that we could not, I could not get it to unclog. Even with a high pressure tip, I stuck a high pressure tip in there with a lance. I couldn't get this so far with a straight lance. As you can see right there, that's the lance on the pressure gun. And my next resort was to get a plumbing snake. I got a plumbing snake from, uh, I think it was Home Depot or Lowell's. I proceeded to snake the drain and it would not budge. It would not break the clog. So I came up with a idea and thank God that it worked. I took a jumper hose, a, a jumper hose that, that's pretty much made to go from your pressure washer to your hose reel. That right there, it's about six feet. I made a, put it in on here, quick disconnect, female quick disconnect. And then on the end here, I went to Home Depot. I got me a, a 3 8 by half threaded bushing to a coupling and then I went to Northern Tools and got a zero tip one of those zero blaster tips right there I did not want to put a quick disconnect on here and then put, uh, have one of those disconnect pop-in type uh, tips because I was afraid that it was going to maybe get uh blow off and get stuck in, inside of the gutter so i made this permanent right here where this would not come off pop off i made i threaded that in there and i snaked it inside of the drain here i was standing on the edge of the ladder here right here and i snaked i was able to snake it all the way down in there all the way to that elbow and once I got it to the elbow, I just turned, turned my valve on, and that was, well, the pressure washer is not running now. That's just running water from the pressure from the faucet on the building. I turned, turned the uh, valve on, it blasted everything out. I mean, it was trash. All kinds of stuff was coming out. Look at all that stuff. And that's what did the trick. So, I made this video <clears throat> to show you guys what I did in case you come across a similar situation where you, you come across a, a, a downspout that does not have 45 degree elbows and you have 90s and it's kind of hard to snake it out with a snake. You can always make a jumper hose six foot jumper hose put your a blaster a zero tip on the end connect it to your ball valve snake it through your downspout and then turn your ball valve on after that's inserted all the way up to the clog and it should work it works for me i hope that helps have a great evening and enjoy your dinner god bless you bye
might go golfing this weekend. Need to relax.